all-wheel drive civic wagon build if you want to be a part of it watch the rest of the video pimps what up pimps um this probably looks familiar like every seems like every other fucking video on our way to tucson again another uh i think it's like 98 miles or some shit brought some cash i'm uh picking up a unicorn as the title says um so yeah rt four-wheel drive uh manual surprisingly it's not automatic like seems like 90 percent of them are it's got some rust and shit they want 1100 you know uh you know i'm not gonna pay that it's the boneyard I think so, yeah, it's where they uh, scrap out airplanes and shit. Cool, cool. That should look old as hell. Oh, that should like military type shit. Shit. Let's go buy a jet. Hell yeah. We'll get the Tucson a lot faster. Or a chopper. Yeah, look at that fat ass chopper. Yeah, it's a bunch of them. I need that chopper. You <laughs> blow a motherfucker up and that shit. Alright, I'll, I'll show you oh, if I get the car in a second. Money. It's a space museum? Yeah, that's what it said. Air oh. Space Museum. Y'all want to see me go to the Space Museum? <laughs> nah, fuck that. Ain't. That was the Space Museum. We just drove past. And that's it. I'm not paying money to go see that shit. I don't know what kind of weird little village this is. It's like, it's like for old people and golf carts and shit. But, I guess we'll see. I don't know if they're old or... And then you're going to turn right. Hey, look what they got money. So we're going to lowball the fuck out of these people. So uh, that's his house. He's got that uh, CRV. And then, uh, could you put on your window real quick? I was hoping he had no idea what he had, but he has this other red RT wagon. So he knew what it was worth. I was hoping it was gonna be some old guy and I could uh, get it for cheap, but didn't do that. I got it, uh, well, 750, which is pretty pretty cheap, but I'll show you all the rust spots and all that uh, little things. But the motor was good, I mean, it was all in the 180s when I did the pressure test. The tray didn't make any noise. He said third grinds a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I guess this will be the first test, trying to get through the sand. I don't know if I want to go this way, but fuck it, right? Oh, fucking like nothing, yo. It is missing the exhaust. First. What, what the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, first, second, and then if you hold it in neutral and go all the way over and up super low. Oh, hell yeah. Flexing hard as a motherfucker. All right, let me give you a little tour. Look at that. They don't make them like, look at this. You close your door, look at that. Somebody puts the seatbelt on for you. They don't make them like that no more. It's fucking... High society, baby. Check this out. High so oh, excuse me. I'm getting out. And then it knows. Look at that. High society, baby. That's what's up. Put that up there. Get my fucking drink. Okay, so here it is. And this is where you guys come in. I want to make this a battle wagon. Um, I was going to just flip it, but... I mean, the doors are a little dicked and it has some rust, but it's alright. We're going to sell the cream wagon. And we're gonna make this a battle wagon now with that being said it does have some rust but it's just like on this lip part so like up here where it's like seamed together or where it's like more of a I don't know a hard spot like all this we can cut out and we don't have to worry about any of this any of this cancer we'll just cut it out and it'll be fine because uh, yeah so this car was in New Jersey I'm in Arizona so it was in New Jersey for uh, some of its life oh look someone put some Bondo on it tried to hide it it was in New Jersey for most of its life. That's a nice tire. Um, I think the guy said at 80,000 they brought it out to Arizona. It's got 190 right now. So a little more, a little more miles on it. Probably half its life lived in New Jersey. So, uh, okay. So I want to put some uh, bigger tires. And that being said, I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to take off the rear bumper. And then I was looking, like uh, Adam LZ, he's got like those cages, like, you know, like the drift cars, how they, how they put those, uh, the bumpers adam lz has one and uh tj hunt they've got like those skeleton bumpers i wanted to do that and i was like cool i'll be the first one to do it and then i looked up battle wagon it'll be the should have been the one for the screenshot or the uh thumbnail that one but he's got the two and i'm gonna i'm gonna do something like that i, I wish i would have been the first but he's already thought of that so a uh, battle wagon it is 
fucking stupid. Someone carved Cletus all in this car. Same with this side, a little bit of rust. We'll just cut all this out to fit the bigger tires. I'm gonna run like a, uh, probably a 15 by eight, 215, 75, 15, something like that. Something really aggressive. Yeah, so but the back bumpers are coming off for sure. The interior is mint and I wanna, I wanna kinda keep it like that. Cause uh, in my cream wagon, it should have the same interior, but it's all, it's all ripped up and shit. This one's hella nice. Same with the passenger side, fucking mint. It's almost too nice for me, but you know, we're, we're gonna turn this into something amazing. I, I, you guys, you guys should know. Fucking stupid. And some, somebody, the guy before I got it from, you see like the clear was, was peeling, so he decided to paint it with house paint. With like a, a fucking paintbrush, you can see all the uh, all the strokes in it. So that was fucking stupid. And it does have the uh, the 1.6 fuel injected because it is a uh, all-wheel drive wagon. He replaced the radiator because he popped a hole in it, and he said the AC was working until he used to take it out in the desert. And uh, I guess he ripped off some of the wires down there. But I'm not really worried about that because we got plans and we need some uh, some space. So yeah, we'll get to. Uh, Sanding all this down and that's why that's why you guys are here. So uh, leave a comment or scroll through the comments I'm I'm gonna raise it up. I'm gonna put some bigger tires black rims I'm not sure I know that original battle wagon is like a like a green I don't know if I go like a dark gray or something like that But I want to get some feedback from you guys to know what you guys want to see the uh, front bumper probably gonna either have to uh, To cut I don't know Cut it like something like that four or five inches off the front and then uh, possibly trim the uh trim the uh, bottom of the of the fender like all through here cut all that out to fit the bigger tires on uh on the battle wagon he like cut his uh firewall and like pushed it back in and then he like cut some of the uh the engine bay and uh pushed it back in so we had more room but i think if i run a 15 by 8 with some spacers kind of kick it out a little bit 15 by 8 zero with some spacers kick it out a little bit i shouldn't have any of those problems but so uh, yeah leave a comment down below i'm going to go uh mob this thing around there's one more thing i want to show you guys um i do have that oem roof rack if you guys remember that video when i went to the junkyard i have one of those i'm gonna put it on this and then i'll build a rack and some lights but check it out it's a civic mud flap and in brown i wish it had the driver's side but what are you gonna do civic these are fucking rare as shit oh and check this out, check this out. the fucking glove box works Let's see what's inside it's all fucking wet. Oh hell yeah, boy! I cut the off, fucking cut the shit out of you. Cool, that goes on there. I was looking for that. September. Like that. That goes to that. It's fucking wet. He said he left the windows down. This is all fresh. Drive down this bitch. Ooh, wee. it's and this is a lot steeper than it looks. What about some all wheel drive donuts? Do you think we can do those? What if we get stuck in here? This is like probably like 15 feet walls. a little more but my little uh, package is coming so we got to go home real quick get some money and we'll meet up with the guy and I've got a surprise for this bitch a little surprise so yeah let me get back home right quick there is a jump over here I used to hit with the quad oh. there, there it is hey 
way the uh, hatch closed. Oh, here's another one. Ooh, ooh wee. At this point, I still have the cream wagon. I have the red CRX. I have the cop car. I have the EP3, the Trailblazer. I think that that's it, right? I know my CRX. So two CRXs, two wagons, the cop car, the Civic, the Trailblazer, uh, EF sedan in my backyard, and then the EF hatch. So EF hatch barbecue. So what? That's like eight and a half cars. I haven't sold anything. I just keep blowing a bunch of money because eventually I'll sell something, right? Right? You gotta think positive, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy some shit and you'll see in a second. I'm gonna wait and uh, put this in the next video, but I didn't think that guy was coming so soon because I wanted to like drive off road and some more, but check it out. Got a triple kit. Because uh, I can't keep it stocked because it is pretty slow. It actually has a zero shaft play, which is cool. The guy put it on and then his car got stolen and then he actually got it back with a blown motor, so we putted it out. And now I got this, 300 bucks, which isn't bad. I just need the... Uh, return line and the oil feed line and then like some uh i'll probably just order some more uh, couplers and shit but anyways like i said uh leave a comment let me know what you want to do with this thing or uh send me a dm on instagram send me some photos or some shit of what you want to see done because i'm open it'll be thursday when you guys see this so i'm gonna start working on it this weekend i have to do a uh, water pump and i think that's it i think i just have to do a water pump job this weekend so i'm gonna start on this as soon as i'm done with that so yeah leave a comment or dm uh, peace pimps